What's going on everyone, Modin31 here, and I'm here to give you three simple tips to help you increase your arena win rate and come out on top more often. These tips will help you whether you're solo queuing or playing with some friends, and they're just basic tips that are kind of on a macro level and will help your gameplay overall so that you can come out on top more often than not. First, if you want more Titanfall and Apex content, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. I also stream on Twitch, link in the description. I'd love to hang out with you and chat with you all live. And without any further delay, let's get to the video. The first tip is about managing your economy round to round. If you've played either Counter-Strike or Valorant, then you may already know some things that I'm going to talk about. A couple mistakes that I noticed is people spending every single credit every single round. I've gone up against first round R99s and Spitfires a lot more often than you'd expect. And that's one of the worst opening moves that you can make. Every single opening round, I usually recommend saving your credits and going to the P2020 or a Mosin right off the bat. If you just really hate those guns, then maybe you could buy an RE45 or an Alternator first. Saving those first round funds and being more conservative will ensure that you have more materials to get good loadouts for rounds two and three. Especially if you were to lose that first round, then you really need more credits to help you gain an advantage in rounds two and three. Plus playing for those canisters will help you as well. Now map control. Map control and situational awareness are huge in this game mode. In the BR, you're awareness is mostly looking out for pushing teams and third parties. Awareness in this game mode is seeing the map and the circle and playing them to your advantage. There's also a million different ways to play the maps, but here's just some things to think about. If you have a team of mobile legends like Octane, Valkyrie, and Pathfinder, then you can swing in and out of material and health locations. You can afford to be split up because it's so easy to group back up once you've gathered materials. On maps like Artillery, maybe you want to play with longer range weapons like the G7, the Sentinel, the DMR, and the Bocek. The sight lines are incredibly long and you can whittle down other teams over a distance as they try and push. It's also best to play circle side on a map like this. On Phase Runner, maybe running directly into the Phase Runner isn't always the best plan. Maybe you push middle and spread out to get materials and get ready for a fight soon after. I usually find that it's not as important to play circle side on this map as it seems to be a bit more forgiving with cover everywhere. On Party Crasher, you have two sets of buildings with the valley in between. Maybe send one person to one side, two to the other, and create a crossfire. Maybe you should play for the care package and the health because they are easier to defend than they are to take initially. As you can see, there's about a thousand different ways to play the maps. Think about what legend you're using. Think about what legend your teammates are using and go from there. Overall, you should be looking to always control key things such as health canisters, materials, and high ground on the map and the circle should always be considered as well. You always want to put yourself in the best position possible so when the circle closes, you have an advantage over the other team. Now, I can make an entire video about what legends are good in arenas and which aren't, and maybe I'll make that tier list. But you should strive to pick legends that are good for the arenas. My main recommendations are to play as Bloodhound or Lifeline. These two, more than any other, seem to be key pieces on an arena team. Sure, you can play with Adam and do fine, but these will increase your chances of winning by a lot. Bloodhound will provide valuable intel, which is put at a premium in this game mode. If you know your opponents are peeking from, or if you know where they're set up and how they're set up, you have an advantage into a gunfight. Lifeline is also super important because of her health drones revive capabilities. It is very rare for someone to be able to full stop and revive a teammate in arena unless they got downed at a long distance from the enemy. More often than not, it's in close range fights. But with Lifeline, you can tap someone with your revive key and then they are back up before the enemy even knows what happened. Also recommend on getting a gold backpack on her most rounds as it is super OP in this mode. I've won rounds and seen team win rounds because of Lifeline's ability to revive and fight at the same time. Well, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. I might do some more in-depth tutorials as well later on, but I just wanted to get out some bare bones, just basic overall 30,000 foot level tips. As I see, a lot of people seem to be struggling with strategy in this game mode. And I think these uh, three things will really help you improve your game. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you want more Titanfall and Apex content. As always, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.